it's really important that we always remember history, the good and the bad parts, so that we can learn from them and ensure that it never repeats itself. With that being said, there are some pretty dark inventions that maybe we should forget, just so we don't bring them back. From a device that forces you to smile through electric shocks, to another device that will tear your limbs off. Let's talk about these inventions and more only in today's video. Top 10 scary inventions in history that should be forgotten. But before I go any further, I got a big announcement. Some of you may know this already, but I have started my very own reaction channel called Peach. It's gonna be a much more personal channel so you get to know me better and we'll have a fun time. So please go over and check out Peach. Videos coming soon. Starting off this countdown, we have the Judas Cradle. Whoever invented this torture device was sick. So basically, the victim would be placed into a waist harness that attached to ropes. Then the victim would slowly be lowered onto this pyramid shaped seat. And it's got a nasty, pointy top that gets inserted up their Yahoo. The victim was then slowly and painfully stretched open by this device. Eventually, their body would tear and they would be impaled. Doesn't that just sound peachy? This instrument was used until the late 1800s in Europe. I can't imagine how painful that must have been. So let's not bring back that form of torture, ever. In our ninth spot, we have the mousetrap pistol. And if you guys are liking this video so far, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up. You guys already know the drill. So this was an invention that seemed like a good idea at the time, but in the end, it was found faulty for a number of reasons. So in 1882, a man named James A. Williams from Texas decided to create a trap, and I quote, by which animals which burrow in the ground can be destroyed. He then took inspiration by burglar alarms from the 19th century, which was basically a pistol rigged on a contraption that would go off when someone opened a window or door. He thought that if it worked for humans, it would work for rodents too. So basically his invention consisted of a revolver or pistol attached to basically a mouse trap. When the mouse set it off, the weapon would go off. So you see how problematic that would be? It would kill the mouse, but also take out chunks of your floor. And imagine if your foot accidentally triggered that trap. Ouch. So you can see why this invention never really took off. In our eighth spot, we have the blood powered lamp. Okay, the award for the strangest invention goes to this one. The blood-powered lamp is exactly what it sounds like. It's a lamp that was powered by your blood. It was also called the Dracula Bulb. It was created by a man named Mike Thompson from the Netherlands, and he designed and created it not too long ago, just in 2007. You know, a time where we have electricity. So. I don't know why he thought this was a good invention, but it is kind of cool, so I'll give him that. Anyways, basically the lamp contains luminol, which is what forensic scientists use to see if there's any blood at crime scenes. Luminol reacts with the iron in blood, and as a result, it creates this bright blue glow. So this guy thought it would be a good idea to make a lamp out of luminol. Only thing is that you need to cut yourself every time that you want to use it. Basically, to use the lamp, first you mix an activating powder, then you break the ball, you cut yourself, and then you add your blood in it. As a result, the lamp will start to glow. Like I said, it's kind of cool, but also kind of really unnecessary. Coming in at number seven, we have the Pair of Anguish. This was another disgusting medieval torture device. So the pair of anguish, sometimes called the choke pair, was this pear-shaped metal device that you never want to be subjected to. So basically, this device was inserted into a victim's <clears throat> downstairs area or their mouth. Then they could turn the screw attached to this device and the pear pieces would bloom, basically expanding and it would stretch your openings. It was often used to get information or a confession out of someone. Basically, the device will get so uncomfortable that you'll either cave in or it'll rip your skin apart. What's sick is that they didn't want to use this device to kill someone. No, no, they wanted it to just stretch them apart slowly to cause immense pain that lasts for hours or even days. In our sixth spot, we have the Scold's Brittle. This terrifying looking mask thing is referred to as the Scold's Brittle. 
The first recorded use of this device was back in 1564 Scotland. Shortly after, England started using them as well. Basically, this mask was a form of public humiliation and torture. Basically, women were forced to wear this as a form of punishment for behaving immodest or rude, or if they were accused of infidelity or witchcraft. So this mask would be locked on over their head so they couldn't remove it. Then there was a spike mouthpiece attached to it so they weren't allowed to speak. They then had to walk around in public wearing it. It was meant to inflict pain on the person while simultaneously causing public humiliation. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the Iron Maiden. And I'm not talking about the band here. Chances are you have heard of this disturbing invention. Basically, it was a coffin-like device that was lined with spikes. The victim was then placed in the coffin and then the executioner would close the door. The spikes were then shot directly into the victim's body. But here's the thing. They specifically positioned the spike so that the victim wouldn't die immediately. Instead, it would be a slow and painful death where they just slowly bled out. That is terrifying. Also, who was responsible for cleaning that device? Cause that would suck. Coming in at number four, we have the spike collar. So picture the Iron Maiden and now picture it around your neck. That's basically what the spike collars were. A collar with spikes all on the inside. It was then placed on a victim and the spikes would dig into their necks. What's worse than the discomfort is the fact that they wouldn't be able to lay down or sleep. They also couldn't eat or drink, so they would just suffer with this thing on for days on end. For prisoners, after the collar was placed on their neck, it was then fastened with ropes to the four walls in the room. The prisoner would stand in the middle. If they moved even an inch in one direction, the spikes would impale them so they would have to stand incredibly still. In our third spot, we have the rack. Although this invention doesn't have a scary name, don't be deceived, it is very gruesome. This was a popular torture device from medieval Europe. Basically, the victim would have their ankles and wrists tied to this device so that they were spread open. Then two executioners would crank the gears and the machine would slowly pull their limbs in the opposite directions, stretching them farther and farther apart until eventually mm, they were ripped right off. I'm telling you, people back in the day were sick. Seriously, imagine if we use this now for criminals. That would never fly. Moving on to number two, we have the dimple machine. Everyone is born with unique features. Maybe you have a butt chin, or unique birthmarks, or dimples. Now, if you don't have dimples, don't worry. There's a device that will give you some. Back in 1936, a woman named Isabella Gilbert created a device that will give people dimples. You know, if you weren't born with them and you were jealous. So basically how this works is the dimpleless person would place this contraption over their face. The device had two sets of knobs on either side of it that would poke into your skin. It was believed that if you were to wear this long enough, then it would train your cheeks to create dimples on their own. I'm sorry, no, that looks terrifying and also painful. And in our number one spot, we have the electric smile. Back in 2011 in Japan, a very weird invention was made to help children smile. It's crazy. So basically, it forces kids to smile by sending electric shocks to the kids' cheeks. This causes the face muscle to contract and voila, you gotta smile. This is wrong on so many levels, but it was targeted towards parents as a method to snap their kids out of a tantrum or to make sure they are looking perfect out in public. Here's the creepy part. The shock is so strong that the smile can last for days. And a side effect is that it can cause some twitching. Like I said before, this invention is just so wrong on so many levels. I can't believe it's a real thing. All right, guys, that's all for today's video. Let me know in the comments below which one of these inventions creeped you out the most. And now, speaking of comments, let's move on to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from the video, top 10 dumbest places where people got stuck. Saqib Majid commented, and I've got stuck in my single life. Sorry, I really shouldn't laugh. That was really clever, but also sad. But also, I feel ya. Yeah, single life right here, okay? It's fine, it's fine. We're living, we're striving, it's okay. Just some Bigfoot with internet access commented, wait, I love this. Some humans have gotten stuck in my woods too, lol. How do they have 58K subscribers? How does Bigfoot, oh my God.
I love that. I love that. I gotta make a channel for like Slenderman then or Siren Head. I'll do Siren Head. That's so funny. Armando Galicia the third commented, hey, I just wanna know if you're married or if you live with someone else. Tricky question, but that's not the true intention. Okay, that was a little cryptic, but um, I'm not married. I don't know why I get this comment so often. People are like, is she married? I'm not married, okay? I'm not married. We'll just put it at that, okay guys? <laughs> all right guys, that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to most amazing top tips for amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see ya. Go check out Peach. Which, yes. Which is what forensic scientist, scientologist, wow. Which is what forensic scientist, wow. Scientologist, scientists. Which is what forensic sci scientists, wow.